So guys, summer is almost over and I have prepared. What is that? I'm pretty much sure that I'm prepared for this winter that's about to hit. It's a windbreaker poncho. I'm pretty sure if I actually stood on top of a hill and went like that, I'd fly off with this. We're ready, we're ready for it. What is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. This video I am super, super excited about because I'm gonna be taking you guys behind the scenes of one of my photo shoots. This video would not have been possible without Odeon Cinema celebrating the release of IT Chapter 2. They came to me and said, Ben, we're gonna put your skills to the test. One thing I always pay attention to when creating videos is sound design and especially sound when watching a horror film or a tense kind of on the edge of your seat film is very important and it is crucial to any good production or good video that's out there right now. So as a creative that really got my gears ticking when Odeon said, we want you to kind of portray sound through these photos. You know, the character from it he's a very very dark manipulative sort of evil character and I try and think how am I gonna bring that character to life through my photography so let's get into it here he comes here Hello. he comes here he comes what, do you want? what are they what are they what are you they the machine blue. Or the blue machine? I'm a blue machine you're a blue one yeah go on you machine. thank you mate we're gonna go and get some um, some props. Uh, we need to get helium balloons um, because obviously the whole story behind it is that red balloon. So you're getting helium balloons, paint powder, which I've just ordered on Amazon, and other bullshit, which we are going to go and get. So, we're on a little, we're on a little mm. mish. Okay. Two of those. One of those done. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, that was swift. It's more red though. Yeah, that's an it balloon. Yeah, but that's scarlet red. Fine streak. <laughs> <laughs> That bit right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just that. All right, sick. Cheap. Let's go. I think that's it, mate. Just got paid. Take your things. Oh. Let's go. Sick. Yeah, you always got ID'd for helium. <laughs> so as you guys may already know, props are a very cool thing to have when doing photography because one, you can give that photo a huge sense of character whether you're using your own outfit or a slinky or smoke bombs, any of those things can have a real impact on photography. And when you're doing photography, these objects can really, really kind of justify what sort of image you're capturing. Another huge factor to think about when doing photography is the location. Um, I, in this case, like to have maybe two or three locations in mind before I actually go and do the photo shoot because you can't always rely um, on things going well. You know, sometimes things go wrong, you'll get kicked out of locations, um, and it's just, you know, one of those things that you can't always rely on. So always have a backup location in mind when you're doing photography. Now we've got the location in mind, we've got the props, everything's pretty much set. And the next day I went to my friend Emma's house who is an incredibly talented makeup artist. Literally, if anyone out there who is interested in special effects or cool makeup or needs any makeup for Halloween, hit this girl up. She is absolutely amazing. And she literally transformed me into this demonic, booky looking clown, right? <laughs> just, just look at this. All right, so we're about 90% of the way. <laughs> You look a bit booky. I reckon right? it will work for the photograph. Yeah. 100% will work for the photograph. Yeah, this is gonna look weird. It's gonna be a fun shoot. I'm gonna... I've only done makeup shoots twice. What was it? Oh, the first so one. So much effort being put into one photo shoot. All right, so we are here on location. Basically, we're about to go to this really cool underground, like, kind of looks like a sewer, because the whole theme of it is he like lives under the sewer, lives underground. So we've got this absolutely crazy location underground where we're gonna shoot. What we may do is we're gonna do some smoke power, not, not some smoke here, because last time I did smoke here, fire brigade turned up and I don't wanna like fucking get in trouble for this. So um, we're gonna do some balloons and some uh, paint powder. And then I think for the smoke, we're gonna maybe leave it or do it later on this evening. That's the plan. So we're gonna go down there now, fill up the balloons with helium. Um, and get some shots. So guys, right behind me is the location. This looks absolutely insane. Natural lighting coming in from the top. I think it will look crazy because, like I said, the clown in it kind of lives underground. And I thought this would be a crazy, crazy location to do this. Um, and it'll be nice and moody. We've got good lighting right now. It gets dark in about an hour or two. So we've got enough time. Probably really, really hard to take notice of me right now looking like this. Probably look like a fucking 
look like a clown. <laughs> okay, so at this point, we're ready to shoot. Everything's ready and set up. And this security officer comes down to us and is like, guys, you need to move along. We've had complaints from the residents. He was a super blessed uh, security officer, but yeah, it just wasn't ideal. We got kicked off in probably about two minutes, which was annoying, but this is why I say always have a backup location in mind. When doing photography, it's those things that kind of, you don't plan for it to go wrong, but sometimes it does, and you just gotta move on and kind of go to the next location or just bite the bullet and do it the next day. But in this case, that wasn't an option. <laughs> All right, so guys, change of plan. We are on our way to another location to shoot this stuff. It's gonna get dark very soon. So luckily we have another location which we know is lit up, which we actually went to yesterday, where we're basically, we're guaranteed with light. So at least when things start looking like shit and you get kicked off of locations, have a backup, because that is important. Okay guys, we are at the second location of the day. We are at this cool little, really low ceiling tunnel where we're gonna get some shots of um, this makeup again with smoke grenades. The balloon idea is difficult because trying to get all the powder in the balloon um, through like a bit of paper almost is really, really difficult. And um, we're gonna probably give it one more go maybe, but we're not sure yet. But we do have red and we have black and white smoke grenades, obviously because it matches my face. But the cool thing about this place, because the ceiling is super low, the smoke will linger in it. Um, and I've shot here before and there's no problems, no security, no one kicks you off. What are we doing, boys? So, about to absolutely destroy this tunnel. Okay, how so? First of all, we're gonna attach the balloon to me. Okay. Then we're gonna put some smoke grenades on So these photos we shot on a Sony a7R 3 with a shutter speed of 1 over 4000 because if you did anything like, if you did anything higher it would have been too dark, it would have so, so we shot on a really really close high-ish mid shutter speed. You don't have to shoot too high, but for smoke you don't need to shoot that high at all. Get your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, came, came out with white trousers. Left it for everyone. He's gonna get in my car. Bro, let me get in your car, you've got red seats. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. So guys, that wraps up this shoot. I hope you guys did enjoy. We're gonna go home now. We're gonna edit the photos maybe tomorrow, uh, later on tonight, I'm not sure. I need to get this makeup off. But I just wanna give a massive, massive thank you to Odeon for sponsoring this video, taking you behind the scenes of what I do when I shoot these like crazy photos. Hope you did enjoy it. I'm gonna forget <laughs> when you pulled up and I wasn't looking. I look up and I just see your fastest face. see my clown face. <laughs> these guys have helped me out massively today. So, Go and follow these two absolute geniuses behind yeah. cameras. <sighs> it's been a long day. Can you go get some food? Dunno. Nando's? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. So pretty much that was the end of the day. It's not been one of my usual videos where it's kind of really cinematic. This has been more of a behind the scenes as to how I take on projects and how I shoot. Um, I think a lot of people nowadays get bogged down. They see all these sort of really, really cool travel photographers, these amazing photographers on Instagram. And some people just forget to have fun with photography, which is exactly what we did today. A few props, some good location, and we got some amazing images out of it. And I think that is what photography is all about. So now it is time to show you guys the photos, all right? So the first picture we got, or the first set of pictures we got, um, we captured with a white smoke grenade. So what we did, we kind of let it fill the tunnel completely first, got that nice kind of foggy, eerie effect. 
um, and I really like the mood of this, when it, especially when it came to editing actually. Um, I was able to kind of really bring up the contrast, crush the blacks as well, and boost the reds in my face. Um, and I think this image is, or well, both these images came out amazing, and I'm really happy with these first two. All right, so then we moved on to the black smoke grenades, which we kind of did the same sort of effect. We let it fill up the tunnel. Funny enough, Ollie actually made me laugh in this photo. And the other one, we got of like a me sort of emerging out of this kind of black, dark smoke, and you kind of got half my face. Uh, and the balloon in the background, which I thought looked amazing. Again, I crushed these blacks, I made it really, really dark, boosted the shadows. And yeah, these two, I was actually quite surprised that the black smoke grenade was gonna look so good. In my head, I actually thought it was gonna not, not look good at all. I thought it was gonna be too dark and I wasn't gonna be able to see the makeup or anything, but it actually really did surprise me. Okay, so this next image is probably my favorite photo that's ever been taken of me. Uh, we went outside and we realized that there was a really, really cool gray wall um, just next to this tunnel. And we actually got the light from the tunnel to bounce onto my face and onto the balloon. I'm gonna put the photo on the screen now. Honestly, I can't express how happy I am with this. It looks like I'm part of the film. <laughs> um, so what I did was when it came to editing, um, I crushed those shadows. I brought the blacks down as well. And then what I did, I masked my face to make my face nice and vibrant, um, masked over my eyes and my hair. And then that was the final image that I got. Honestly, I just, that is unbelievable. I look, it looks, it doesn't look real, I feel. I feel like it looks like an actual movie poster. And finally, I saved the best till last. These two images, I couldn't believe it. When I edited it, I was like, no, nope, there's no way. People are gonna think they're fake. I'm gonna get called out for photoshopped. These two photos, just, I'm gonna put them on the screen. This was the outcome. So what I did was I edited one to be more like a red sort of pink and one was more orangey sort of tone. Not that different, but the colors are a bit different. Um, and obviously what I did was that technique where I brought the smoke grenade around my stomach loads and loads of times. Got that nice big cloud um, so that it kind of wasn't covering all of me, just you could see the top half of my face and the balloon really, really clearly. And then behind, I got this amazing cloud of smoke, which I was just over the moon with and they are the final images. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, massive thank you to Odeon for making this whole video possible, taking you guys behind the scenes um, to one of my photo shoots. Legit, I went to go and see the film the other day at the cinema in Leicester Square, and pretty much they've got the new Dolby sound system in the cinema, and it was a whole new level of cinema. I'm telling you now, with a being of a creator myself, sound is so important. And when watching that film, it brought the entire experience to life for me, um, which is what I try to do in these photos and try and bring that whole cinema experience to life through my photography. So I hope you did enjoy it. Again, don't forget to leave a like, rate and subscribe. If you are new, I am so close to 10K subscribers. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care, peace. Thank you.